he walked to his yard and he said he was going to kill the kid. He wanted to shoot my daddy and me. He tried to shoot a kid's dad. It's heartbreaking. A six-year-old Kinsley White speaking to a local TV news crew after she and her dad, William White, were shot by a neighbor last week. The man was angry that the neighborhood kid's basketball rolled into his yard while they were outside playing. The shooting garnered some national headlines, in part because it was one of numerous shootings of young people recently accidentally or incidentally being on someone else's property. But sadly, much of that coverage seems to be infected by race. No doubt, this one is heart-wrenching. The very visible scar on Kinsley's face where she was grazed by shrapnel from a bullet. And sadly, Kinsley's dad, William, remains in the hospital with serious injuries to his lungs and other vital organs. But the amount of coverage paled in comparison to another high-profile shooting, 16-year-old Ralph Yarl, a black Kansas City, Missouri teen, shot after just going to the wrong address to pick up his siblings. He was shot by 84-year-old Andrew Lester, who's white. Yarl's shooting garnered more than six times as many mentions on cable news as the Kinsley and William White case, and far more coverage even than similar types of incidents which have happened all around the same time. The case of Kaylin Gillis, the upstate New York woman shot when she and her friends went up the wrong driveway. Or even Peyton Washington, the Texas cheerleader, shot after trying to get into the wrong car after practice. The suspect in the Kinsley and William White case, who authorities have identified as the shooter, was 24-year-old Robert Singletary. He's black. As it turns out, Singletary was also out on bond for allegedly assaulting his girlfriend with a sledgehammer in December. He went on the run after the shooting, and there was a manhunt until he turned himself into authorities in Florida days later. Now, Kinsley and her dad were shot last Tuesday, made a small splash in the news cycle, short-lived with the story essentially wrapping up when Singletary eventually turned himself in. Most of the coverage just reporting on the horrific nature of the shooting and tied into those other recent high-profile shootings by strangers on people who made seemingly innocent mistakes. And yet, Ralph Jarl's case is still getting much more widespread attention in the kind of coverage directly tied to the race of the victim and the suspect. Ralph Yarl, a black teenager in Kansas City, was shot twice by a white homeowner. We're learning new details today about the horrific shooting in Missouri of a black teenager just for ringing the doorbell at the wrong house while going to pick up his younger brothers. The shooting of Ralph Yarl yeah. in Kansas City took me back to the killing of Trayvon Martin, I believe that was 2012, yeah. in Florida. But more importantly, the 2014 killing of Tamir Rice in Cleveland. But in a country where we view black people as threats, young black men in particular, even black boys, and in a country where old white armed men are being fed a right-wing media diet of fear and paranoia, incidents like these aren't as shocking as they should be. Look, Yarl's shooting fits the media narrative much more cleanly. The story of a black, unarmed teen being shot by a white homeowner. Now, there are credible allegations from both the prosecutor and the shooter's own grandson that a motive in this shooting, directly or indirectly, may be tied to the suspect's racism. And I'm not defending the shooter in any way. But why is no one talking about the fact that a black man shot a white father and his daughter? Because the race isn't relevant. Imagine if the races were switched. A white guy shoots a black dad and daughter for wandering onto his property. There would be news crews parked up and down that street, nonstop coverage, civil rights attorneys weighing in, headlines exploring every aspect of the shooting itself and deep dives into how it all fits into racism in America, etc. Everything that the Yarl case is garnering, and just the headlines on the Yarl case, the race of the victim and of the suspect is just so often the focus. While in the other cases where the victim was white and the shooter was black, there's almost never reference to race. Now, I am not trying to do some Fox News outrage segment here, but so much of the media in particular is obsessed with race, only making reference to the victims and shooters' race when it fits with the narrative of white guy shoots black person. And that case ends up getting exponentially more coverage 
Even though Ralph Jarl fortunately survived, let me be clear, this poor kid did absolutely nothing wrong and is expected to make a full recovery. And yet 20-year-old Gillis died and six-year-old Kinsley's dad is still hospitalized. When the victim is white, it's about guns and anger. When the shooter is white and the victim is black, it's about race and racism. And the story ends up getting that much more coverage. And the reason I'm pointing this out is because that is a problem, both in terms of perspective and any perception of objectivity in the media. I just want to see some of the same standards applied across the board. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.